Oh, what's up, channel? We back at Miss Farm's place. It hasn't been as long as it usually is. Kudos to me for all y'all that have been saying I take a really long time. Here I am trying. <laughs> so I'm just checking back in with y'all to let y'all know what I've been up to. Besides my braces, there's been a lot of new things happening with me. So I've been pretty busy and enjoying my brand new fucking teeth. It's damn near time for these bitches to come off. It's so fucking exciting. Um, as y'all can see, y'all see me? This smell is organic. <laughs> like, there's no effort in this smell. Um, so y'all, I've been fucking busy. Um, I've literally been all over the place. Uh, for those who do not already follow me on Instagram, uh, check out my main Instagram page. It is Miss Palmer Forever. And my YouTube dedicated channel is Miss Palmer's Place. So follow me on both uh, because I don't like to just mix my everyday life up, which is majority hair, um, up with like my brace updates. It's like kind of weird to see like hair and teeth mixed up. It's like, you know, it's a mixed crowd. So I said, let's just separate it. So my YouTube channel Instagram is different than my main Instagram, but they both my fucking pages and I manage both of them. So yeah, I try to give you guys updates there as much as possible so if you don't catch me on youtube all the time it's all good just check me out on instagram make sure y'all follow also before we get started with what i just been up to uh, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video thumbs up it and always leave me comments i love when you guys leave me comments i spend a lot of time uh responding to people on my comments because I feel like, you know, the communication is better through comments. So just drop me a comment in the comment box below. Besides all that, I've been busy as fuck. Um, my sister just got married. Oh, it was fucking crazy. I was the maid of honor. So I'll tell you guys a little bit about that. And I just recently took a fucking 10 day trip to fucking China. Very different. This was the first time I've been um, so far out the country. If you do follow me on Instagram, you probably saw in my stories like hella different story snap situations on there. So you're probably real familiar with what I'm about to talk about in this video. Man, let's get started because I'm taking hella long. So yeah, my sister just got married um, to her long-term uh, boyfriend. They've been together for fucking ever. Bruh, always been my bruh. Black love is beautiful so to see um somebody who's always been a relative to make it official is just a beautiful thing to make that commitment so kudos to my sister and her husband three things though that i would give advice to made of honors out there is have patience with everything communicate with the bride a lot and um communicate with your bridesmaids like stay in communication with the bridesmaids because you know communication if it's poor it can make the situation extra stressful so just make sure you take that initiative to get your communication on because you're gonna be communicating a fuck a lot have fun and congratulations to all of the um, engaged couples out there that are about to get married so enough of that a rich Went to go get her Chung Lee on, bitch. Chung Lee on in motherfucking China. That shit was a very different experience. I would have never thought in a million years that I would go so fucking far out. Lately, I just been on my yes shit, like just saying yes to new experiences. But now, like I'm like, you know what, Kiana, just get out there. You only live one life. You don't want to blink and then, you know, you're like 60 years old and you haven't really experienced that many things in life. So I just feel like, you know, fuck it. Yeah, I want to go. Six trips one year? Fuck yeah. Just be gone. <laughs> gone. I don't give a fuck. I'll be like, I'll work hard. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Period. The trips that I'm showing you guys are just some of the tourist things that we were doing on the work trip. If you guys want to see all of these clips that I'm showing uh, today, you can go onto my Instagram page, Miss Palmer Forever, and you can see all of these clips on there. It's in my story highlight. Yeah. So here's just a few things that I wanted to share about my trip to China. First, 
um, I thought it was very interesting that um, these crickets were chirping everywhere we went in China. It was weird. One of the locals said um, they were extra loud because of the heat. It was hot and humid. But you know, I just kind of just try to ignore it for the most as possible. My cat is scratching on the door. But yeah, on top of it being so hot, when you walk into a mall, it would be freezing cold. So you go from being extra hot and sweaty to being cold and low-key moist. It's not a good feeling. So I could never get the balance, you know, from being hella hot to hella cold in the mall, I just, you know, I wasn't feeling that. But they got some nice ass smalls out there in China. I was like, this is brand new. Like this small got the brand new smell. I was, it's nice. Outside of that, um, Pretty much all the hotels I stayed at were really nice. You can probably go check out my Instagram story. I think I added a lot of snaps in there from like showing around the hotels that I stayed out. So I got curious to see more of what that looked like. Y'all can go check that out. And everybody was pretty nice, you know? Some people was like, you know, was they rude? And I'm like, no. Like, to be honest, I think they was looking at me like, where the hell she come from? Well, why the hell she here? <laughs> I was just like, hey, what's up, y'all? I guess they just, you know, it, it wasn't too many black people walking around. I wouldn't say that, you know, I see many black people. Not in um, the two smaller cities I was in, which is Qingdao and Zhengzhou, um, right? Yes. Uh, but when I was in Shanghai, uh, it seemed pretty diverse. There was a lot of different people there, which is pretty dope. But, you know, not a lot of people, you know, was from the town. I was, you know, probably the ratchetest one out there. Y'all know I just try to stay ratchet. Yeah. Uh, for more videos, like I said, go check out my Instagram. I just wanted to let you guys know what I've been up to. I've just been all over the place. Um, I think I have like a couple more trips in me for the year. Definitely follow me on Instagram because that's when you get a live update on everything that I'm doing. And I have another braces update video coming for you guys real soon. Like, Maybe next weekend. Like, I'm shooting for next weekend. Don't, like, hold me to that. But, you know, it's a, it's a high possibility. I'm for sure, for sure going to try. Brace update video coming up. Uh, it's getting real close to the end of my journey. So, um, I want to make sure that I give you guys as much information from my experience as possible since, you know, I've been dealing with these things for a while. I feel like I could give you some real, real, real hacks. Um, if you haven't seen my other brace hacks video, you should check that out because this next one I'm going to give you is going to be very fucking different. Uh, so don't forget to like this video, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment box below. Um, let me know what y'all been up to. All my brace gang people up in here uh let me know what you've been up to like you ain't even gotta be about your braces like let me know what's up what's popping i'm out deuces